Hi, and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to add some conditional formatting to each one of these to highlight the fact that this is a cross and it'll be red, or actually just leave these black if they're just a check mark or a tick. So it's just a little bit extra color just to draw your attention to this sentence here. I think it's going to be too much if we highlight the whole sentence as being red. So we're just going to draw our attention by, by highlighting this cross here, if, if, if any of these are the cross. So to do that, we're going to use some a measure and some conditional formatting. So let's go and add in a new measure. And I'm just going to paste in the measure here, and we're just going to talk you through this. So we're going to, we've already determined the logic for um, for inputting this as a either a cross or a check mark. So we're going to use that fact. We're not going to recreate that logic, and we're just basically going to create a variable that's going to capture this selected value for. So what is the value that's currently in this card here? And then we're going to go and carry out some logic, a switch statement. Uh, we could have used an if statement here, but because I've used switch statements for the other measures, I'm just going to stick with this switch statement. And it's going to be true. It's going to look for true if the selected value equals this text symbol bad. So remember, um, in one of the previous lessons, we've created two text symbols, one for the cross and one for the check. So if it's the one for the cross, then it's going to output this color code here. So that's going to be the output of this conditional formatting measure. So it's just a measure, really, a, a, a normal measure. But instead of returning a number, it's returning this text string here. So let's just accept that. So once we've got that in place, we're going to go in here, and we can see it's already turned red uh, because I've already added this in. But I'm just going to talk you through how I've done this. We're going to go into this field value. So in the conditional formatting options, there's a load of different values. It'll probably default to this section here if this is the first time you're adding conditional formatting to this card. And we're going to go and select field value and based on field. So the color is going to be based on whatever value is returned by this conditional formatting or by this measure here, and I've prefixed it with color, just so that we can tell it's a, um, really for, for a lot about administration, so you can group all of the conditional formatting measures together. And we can see it's red. Okay, so we're going to do the same for the other ones. So first of all, what we need to do is go and recreate similar, um, similar measures that are going to output the red color if the value in here is a cross. So I'm going to go and do that. So we're going to create a new measure. And this one will be for part two text, which is in here. Same logic, it's just looking for the, the value for the symbol for part two rather than the symbol for part one. And then we'll go and create another one for part three. And here we have it. So now if we go into each one of these, we can see, I'll just remove it so it looks like it will be when we when we first go into this, there'll be the color will just be default to the default color, which is black. We'll click on the FX button at the side. We'll change this to field format. And we're going to select the color overall risk status for text two. So text one, text two, and text three. It's not going to make any difference here because this is going to be, these are check marks anyway. So let's go and do it for part three. And go in here, add that in, and just add in the text for this one here. So we can do a little bit of testing here just to make sure that these are actually reading the conditional formatting measure and applying it. So what we'll do is we'll go into this one here, which is formatting this checkbox here, or this card here. And I'm just going to change this to output the if it's if the value is a checkbox, which is the symbol for good, then output it to be red. And we just should see that turn red. Okay, so we can see that turning red. So it's, it's reading it, and it's using it to carry out the conditional formatting. Right, so that is as much as I've got for this lesson here. We've now 
got ourselves an institution where we've got this coloured red, we've got each one of these coloured depending on whether it's a cross or a check mark. The next lesson is where we're going to go and create a drill through that's going to allow us to go and look at the transactions that are sitting behind each one of these squares here. I'll talk to you in the next lesson.